Hey y'all, Nova here. Season 3 of the Cycle Frontier launched today, so I have a best settings guide for you for the Cycle Frontier. So starting off with the rendering device, I have my GPU selected, and then display mode, I have it in windowed full screen instead of full screen. This is so that you can alt tab much quicker. Some people, if you want the most FPS, may want it in full screen, that is up to you. So I have DLSS turned on super resolution set to auto, so it just uses the DLSS resolution, then image sharpening at zero. I turned the NVIDIA reflex low latency to boost. And then I turn this off of unlimited for the max FPS in a match, just because sometimes uh, NVIDIA GPUs are fried, such as with New World. So I would always set a max FPS just because 240, you're not going to notice the difference. I would leave it at that, honestly. So FOV, I turned up from 90 to 100. You want to be able to see people around your sides. And honestly, I don't find the bigger heads to be that much important to me. And then I would turn gamma up as well all the way, just so you can see things in dark spaces. Next, in the video quality options, uh, I have it set to custom, so the draw distance is medium. You can turn that up to high if you're sniping, etc. Then shadow quality, post process quality, visual effects, and foliage all turned down to low with the texture quality slightly higher just so the game doesn't look too bad. <laughs> and then next, with the advanced options, I have everything turned off except for the multi threaded rendering. Uh, I don't know why motion blur is ever enabled. That's nuts. And then DX12, that's what, something you're going to have to test with your own hardware. Um, I'm getting a new computer soon, so I'll probably have that turned on eventually, but for right now, we're going to turn that off. Next, audio. Uh, don't follow these. It doesn't really matter. You can, you know, set voice chat to whatever you want. I have sound effects turned off just for this video, just because there's a lot of background noise if it's not off. Next, with your sensitivity, I have mine set to 1.5 and my mouse DPI is 800. I have a really big mouse pad. This completely depends on what you like what your hardware is and what mouse pad you have. So generally I'd say you'd want to have 400 degrees of rotation when you're going from one side of your mouse pad all the way to the other so that when your mouse is in the center you can turn a little bit past 180 degrees on either side so that you can aim at anyone around you. Um, and generally I'd say like 400 degrees of rotation total is pretty good. So depending on how you want to do it, you know, there are multiple ways to do the math. You can figure it out for yourself, but uh, that's what I have mine to set to. And then uh, I have sprint and crouch toggle on. And then actually this time I'm trying the targeting toggle as well under the idea that it'll be easier to aim if I don't have to hold down the left mouse button as well as the right mouse button. Um, I'm not sure with this yet. We'll see, but I'm testing this out just for right now, uh, but choose with that with what you will. Key bindings, I didn't change anything other than I set sprint to caps lock. It's easier to, for my pinky to hold down over a long period of gameplay time. And then I change melee to my mouse button and I change the map to B. So next game, you know, nothing got to change with notifications, but I turned, um, actually I think that was already good. Yeah, nothing else to change in game, so yeah. Those are the settings. Uh, one other thing you can do, I'm not sure, I haven't messed around with it, but you may be able to like turn on NVIDIA filters. I don't know if they like turn that off or not, but that may be something you wanna look into if you wanna just, you know, change what your game looks like. Uh, honestly, it looks just fine, but you can probably clear up like a little bit of the fogginess, stuff like that. So anyways, yeah, um, I'm Nova. I'll be making some more guides and stuff coming this week. I'm sure I'll make like a patch note uh, thing tomorrow. And yeah, I'll be having more guides come. If you want to watch them, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you like the video, consider hitting that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And I hope you have a great day. Good luck on your raids this week. And thanks for watching, y'all.